All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's second scout report. Here to give you a report on Cameron Irvin, the center coming out of Florida State. Now he actually is from Georgia, and he started his career at defensive tackle for the Noles, in which he notched up 20 tackles as a true freshman before converting to the offensive side and became an offensive tackle for the Seminoles. Now he was an offensive tackle at first, and then in 2014 he converted to center, and I think he could be projected as a decent center in the National Football League and it kind of shows his versatility which is, is 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 a good strength. Now during his stay at Florida State he helped the team win a national championship and he was an All-American and twice he was named first team all ACC conference honors at the offensive line position. I think he convert well in the National Football League possibly become a pro bowler. Now, let's talk about his strengths. I already mentioned earlier he's a versatile athlete playing multiple positions not only in the defensive side but also uh, offensively, um, I'm playing left tackle and center for the um, at, for the Florida State Seminoles. He also has a good blend, a combination of size, athleticism, strength, and flexibility. That's what you do like about this versatile player. And he can play, like I said, the tackle and, and center position. And he is easily does a good job easily reaching out and dominating at the second level in his blocking ability. And he keeps himself very busy. He has a great work ethic in securing his blocks. I do like some of his skills. But he can't can, um, crisp things up just a little bit. And one last... um 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 trait about him that I do like is that he competes very easily and he is very a great coachable player who is just willing to learn and develop his skills. That's what I love most about this kid and I think he has potential to become like a like I said a pro bowler. Now he does have some weaknesses though is his legs. He kind of lacks the power that you want at, in his legs and he also has had some issues against Vic Beasley in 2014 when Florida State played against Clemson. That was a close matchup and Vic Beasley kind of dominated against um uh, on Cameron Irvin in that matchup. So he needs to be a little bit more consistent in his technique. That was a little bit a concern for me. And also his foot footwork can be a little sloppy and pass protection. Just need to crisp things up just a little bit. Now my projection for this um this season, I said I definitely have him at least a second round pick, but he can possibly go the number 31st overall to the Seattle Seahawks in the first round. He, they could um reach out for him in that particular selection, but I really have him projected in the second round. Now I have one more block I'm going to talk about. I'm going to catch you guys in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.